Hey everyone, I hope you're all doing amazing. I'm super excited to bring another seasonal project pan for you. This is going to be a collab video with three other awesome project panners here on YouTube. If you're a project panner fanatic like me, you're probably going to know these girls already. We have Girly and Glam by Emily Frost, Kristen K, Amber F, and then me. And we are going to be doing a crossing six off our Christmas list. <laughs> That's a really cute name that we all kind of decided on. And we are picking six high-end products for this project as well. We wanted to come up with something a little bit sassier than our normal, you know, seasonal pan. So I think that it's a really cute idea. If you guys are interested in joining, please do. And then let us know um, so that we can check those videos out. I will be linking all of the other girls' channels and their intro videos down below. We're all posting our videos by September 18th. That's the day you will be seeing it. And then we will do kind of our updates probably on like a three to four week basis. Um, it'll be kind of dependent on how um, other people are going to do it. I know I will probably be doing it about every three to four weeks to kind of let you guys know my progress. Let's check out the products that I've picked out for me trying to cross off my Christmas list. The first one has been in Project Pans before, but I would really love to use it up completely. It's the MAC Aphrodite Shell Bronzer. And I hit major pan there is a lot of the actual like baked pan underneath showing but there's still a lot of bronzer there and so I think that this would be a great challenge for me to be able to use this up completely and have something to back to Mac even though it would be really painful to let this packaging go because it's so beautiful but I have another one that's a compact I have a face primer this is the Laura Geller spackle hydrating moisturizing under makeup primer and I have a little bit less than half left and I really like this I think it's a great product it definitely is more of a thin moisturizing type of feel versus like some of the primers that have a little bit more of like a silicone or like a velvet texture when it's all said and done it really just feels like a light moisturizer but I have dry skin so it's perfect for me I have the Bare Minerals Concealer in Well Rested. I've had this in my collection for quite a while. I sometimes, um, you know, like neglect it, so I thought it would be good to pull it out and actually use it up completely. So I brushed all the product down to the bottom, and that is the line for the introduction. I will be concentrating this probably as a topper to a creamy concealer, have this be that extra step to kind of seal everything in, as well as give even more coverage. This has also been in a project pan in the past, so you'll see some marks from past ones, but I, for some reason, can never use it up. So this is the Stila One Step Prime Color in the color Kitten, and I am right here. This kind of larger line is where the intro will be for this project pan, and I use this as a highlight. I think I'm going to also kind of mix a little bit of it into my foundation because I know I wasn't using that for previous project pans. You can also use this as a lip color. It's not cute as a lip color in my opinion. It really makes your lips look very dry. But as a highlighter and a kind of mixture into my foundation, I think I'll be able to use this up. Finally, I have an eyeliner that I've been really loving lately. It's the Kat Von D um, Puro Amour Eyeliner. I don't think that you can even purchase this anymore. This was like a deluxe size uh, sample, but I just use it for my waterline, so it takes a really long time to be able to use it up. But this is where the intro is going to be and I just measured it from the very end of the pencil even though I know I'm not going to be able to sharpen it all the way down there. The last product is something that I just pulled out in a weekly makeup basket and I thought it would be a really great fall and winter color because it's got a lot of red to it. I'm wearing it today, but it's more of a neutral everyday red where, you know, it's not that bam in your face red that you might not want to wear every single day, even though it's gorgeous. Um, I love me a gorgeous red. And this is how much product there is in there left. And I measured it from where the plastic ends. And these are, I didn't even say what it is. This is the Buxom Big and Healthy Lipstick, and this is in Monaco. I don't know, is this one that actually has a sharpener? Oh, it does. Perfect. So these, oh, it doesn't. <laughs> Uh, it's just the bottom that I just ripped apart. A lot of these actually have a sharpener on the bottom, but this one does not. But I didn't break it completely, so that's good. 
So those are my six high-end makeup products that I would like to use up by Christmas. It'd be excellent if I can use all of these as well because it will go towards my total goal, which is my 2016 makeup use-up challenge where I'm trying to use up, I can't remember, 75? products I think, uh, makeup products by the end of the year. If I can use these up that will be six more to add to that. Uh, please go check out the other ladies, they're all amazing. Again, you probably have already been familiar and subscribed, but if you're not, go check them out, go subscribe to them, and I hope you guys will continue joining me throughout this project and seeing how my updates are, and I'll see you in one of my next videos. Bye!